Hello there, uh, my name is Yolita Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skincare in Burlington, Vermont. And in this little video, I wanted to explain the difference between UVA and UVB rays. Um, there's different types of rays in the sun. Uh, and people used to think uh, that UVA rays were not dangerous, but in fact they are. Uh, in tan, they actually were used, and, and still is, I think, uh, in the tanning beds, but it's actually these type of rays they penetrate deeper into the skin layer and they are they do cause damage like hyperpigmentation they can cause as well aging and cancer just like UVB rays really they're not as aggressive but they're still dangerous so tanning is not recommended for skin health even in any tanning beds it's not nothing safer than sun tanning really um, People who tan be before their 30th birthday are more likely to get, 75% more likely to get skin cancer than those two who have not tanned in a tanning bed. The other type is UVB rays, which have, um, you know, they're, they're more known more as more aggressive and they do cause the more aggressive um, skin cancers and sunspots, aging, fine lines and wrinkles are caused mostly by sun damage. Uh, so very important to wear sunscreen even in winter time, even if it's snow, uh, because actually on a sunny winter day when you have snow, the sun can be intense on our skin because it reflects off the snow, as well it can reflect off water if you buy the lake, so it's very important to wear sunscreen then when you're outside in the nature, but also indoors because the UVA rays, they penetrate through the window, through the glass. So if you're driving a car, I actually always close my sunroof because I don't want that ray penetrating me. Uh, my skin, even though I do wear sunscreen, you know, it's not 100% proof. Plus, you know, I don't put it on my hands usually. and. And our hands age from sun damage too, and then that's when you're old and your hands become all sun spotty and you know. So to avoid that, you wanna avoid sun. So you can wear hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, put on a shade when you can. Of course, you know, you're not gonna protect yourself 100% from it, but you don't wanna be unnecessarily exposed too much to it. So wear clothing, you know, like longer sleeves. If you're gonna be a lot in the sun. Um, so hope this video was helpful. And let me know if you have any questions. Post them in the comments down below. Uh, and what's your favorite type of sunscreen? I personally like the weightless and light sunscreens, especially for the face. I like the weightless from PCA. We actually carry that in our online store also as like Estee Max sunscreen Hydra Sun which is 50 SPF and also 45 SPF 10 Ted one from PCA and the daily one uh, daily protection uh, SPF I think 50 or 45 um, from PCA but you know 30 and 35 is fine you know uh, 45 50 it just adds a couple more percentages of protection. So 30, 35 SPF, that's that's already like, gets sort of 90, I think 4, 95%, 96 of sun rays. And if you go up to 45 and 50, it adds like 97, 98%. Well, hope you have a brilliant day and um, click the like. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, I'm your leader Brilliant. If you'd like to book a facial or massage therapy session with us at Brilliant Massages, I'll check out the link down below. Uh, bye, don't forget the sunscreen. It's really the sole things that, thing that we can do besides all the other creams, procedures, uh, peels, you know, microdermabrasion, all that. Sunscreen is gonna be the most helpful in preventing aging and helping skin health.
and diet hydration you know not drinking too much caffeine is important um, not dehydrating your skin and also genetics plays a role too but check it out sunscreen is important and if you like um, this can uh, code brilliant 10 an hour online shop use it before you lose it okay bye